and uh, welcome to Mosaic. My name is Chris Lyford, and I'm here to introduce to you in a moment my guest, Father John Pitterett, who's the Vicar for Administration here at the Archdiocese of San Francisco. And today's show, we're going to talk about some of the more frequently discussed and uh, believed in and uh, uh, essential teachings of the Catholic faith. And, and I hope you enjoy the show. It's going to be a, a quick show because we're going to try to uh, cover a lot of ground. But uh, I want to let you know at the website, at our website, sfarchdiocese.org, you can click on the item that says what we believe to find a list of all these things should you want to follow up on that. So you can actually go to the page itself at sfarchdiocese.org slash what we believe to find out more. But here we go. I'd like to introduce you to Father John Pitterett, Jesuit priest who's the the Vicar for Administration here in the Archdiocese in San Francisco. First of all, Father John, welcome. Great to be here again with you, Chris. You're back. Uh, you've recently written an article that will be published in the Catholic San Francisco newspaper uh, that uh, kind of in, is a great introduction to what we're going to talk about. Would you let us know the gist of that? Sure. I just point out that uh, in secular society, we get a lot of our views from secular society. A lot of people do, and they tend to follow different trends. Um, and a secular culture does not necessarily mean that everyone believes it. And there are always countercultures, the, the different ethnic groups and things like that. But over time, they have an influence. And they can have an influence on institutions which could be positive or sometimes negative. Mm -hmm. um, and I have a little example that I use, which mm -hmm. I, I think is, is good, um, and it involves ice cream shops. So uh, over the past 40 or 50 years, if you like ice cream, you know that when you go into one of these shops, they have lots of toppings, uh, brownies, cookies, other little sweet things that you can have. And th that's been the, the trend. Well, you can imagine that there would be one ice cream shop who said, you know, we make good ice cream. And that's what we want to stick to. We're going to, all these 40 years, so they haven't really been popular. Uh, it's a small chain, and somehow they make it through. And now they feel it's time to really emphasize the fact that they've, all, they've stuck to the basics. Mm -hmm. You know, that this is just pure good ice cream. And so they, they rename their chain, and they call it Nothing But Ice Cream. Ah, okay? yes. Nothing But Ice Cream. So it's all emphasis on ice cream. Mm -hmm. And people, they hear about it, and they think, oh, my gosh, that's something completely new. What that's a novel different. novel idea. <laughs> right. And yet they've been doing the same thing for 40 years. Well, the, uh, you can make an application to the church like that. A lot of things have changed in society. But, and, and some Catholics sort of drift away a little bit and things, but as far as institutions are concerned, our Catholic schools, it's pretty important to let people know that the, the institution believes the same thing that it did 40 years ago, 400 years ago, sure. 2,000 years ago. Right, it hasn't changed. That's right. a great analogy. Well, we're going to talk about some of those things. Uh, we've got a list of uh, some of the main tenets of the faith. For example, the four marks of the church, we'll talk about that. What's the magisterium? What does it mean when we say we believe in the true presence of Jesus in the Eucharist? Uh, uh, big topic. Well, uh, it's an ultimate big topic. Hell, heaven, purgatory. Uh, the priesthood. People often have questions about the priesthood. And then life. And what, what was our belief in life and things of how to live out a chaste life? And all of the things that, that are um, connected to the essential teachings of the church. And, and how do we live them out? And, and why do we stand up, for example, uh, this past weekend, 50,000 people walking down the street of San Francisco Market Street, standing up for life, uh, all based on one essential issue, our belief in life. And so we're going to be talking about uh, some of the details of those when we come back. My name is Chris Lyford. You're watching Mosaic. And we'll be right back.